Hi, I'm Louis. Let me take you on a tour of Melbourne based on random memories of mine. Ding. Is this where I was punched in the head by a drunk stranger? Good times. Smith Kebabs. The site of many 4am kebab sessions after shaking ass at Ya Ya's. This is where I went on my very first date with a guy. We watched Fifty Shades of Grey and Pashed when Love Me Like You Do by Ellie Goulding came on. It's shut down now. Swanson Street, where I was called a f for the first time. This is where I was born. It's not actually a memory of mine though. I don't remember being born. Here's where I went on another first date with a guy. I helped him pick out a sofa and then we never spoke again after that. I should call him. After all, computers crash, people die, relationships fall apart. The best we can do is breathe and reboot. There must have been an angel by my side. Something. Gay thought or son daughter? No, that's not what I said. Oh, gay thoughts or a dollar? I'll take the dollar. I already have gay thoughts. Bennett, right now we're taking you with us gay boys on a mission to Woolies to get groceries. Ooh, were you hungry though? Because if so, quick pit stop at a mommy mart to get onigiri. Oh my god, this is just adding fuel to the fire. Sushi go round or sushi go round. Choose your choice. After that, we're spending all of our money on groceries. Then rushing back because I have a date with my tall ass friend, Max, and my bestie, Rissy. Let's go. We're at K-Barbecue in wow. the city. Just this place is intense, but it gets even more intense at the Purikura Photoland upstairs, where I will whip out my straight boyfriend Judy's and win Irissa a miffy. Bye! Have y'all seen Heartstopper? Yeah, I saw watching you watch it too. Oh so, you speak French, like fluently, sort of. Um, my dad's French and basically only speaks to me in French. So, anyway, he lives in Paris. So I've been trying to. Are you? Wait, do you like the fact that I speak French? It's fine and it's cool, Charlie. Mon amour. I don't usually do this, but I just feel like there's a message that needs to come out, and if I can help at least one person. Then I'm gonna do that, you know? Oh. You're gay. Everywhere I go, I keep a picture in my wallet like you. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got. Hi. 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 You speak English, don't you? Yeah, I speak English, but I was born in Okinawa. Why are you better at English? Because I went to an international school. Oh, that's why. So do you have a girlfriend? No. Do you have a crush on someone? Yeah, his name, uh, I'm 80% straight and 20% gay. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice, and we're filming this under a rainbow. Even better, high five. Yeah. Say as many fruits as you can. All right. Uh, me, myself, I, Dominic Lawrence, all my friends, my friends, my friends, figs. The fuck's fig? Oh, oh, pineapple, orange, 
啊。Here are three helpful Spanish phrases that are really useful in my relationship with my Latino boyfriend. Number one, the basic is always nice to be appreciative in a relationship. So, gracias, como gracias por tu leche. <laughs> Number two, which is very useful when he asks you something, is sí, señor. For example, ponte de los días, sí, señor. <laughs> <laughs> and finally,、um, a term of endearment for expressing when you're really happy, when you're really like enjoying the stuff you're doing, you can say, "Hi, papi." Hey, <laughs> papi, hey, qué haces, papi? Baby, you were everything I ever wanted. Bought a wedding ring, it's in my pocket. Planned to ask the other day, knew you'd run away, so I guess I just forgot it. Remember when you went away to college? I was on the phone, we ended up talking. Past, present, future, all the gossip. Goddamn, puppy loving. What a hello! I'm back to add absolutely nothing to the fashion industry. Can't even get a decent hairstyle going. And then I'm going to start with these big Hrun Brooks, which the whole family can fit in and reside in at the same time. And look at these! Oh, so many pockets. I'm going to check every single pocket to see if maybe I can find some fashion sense in one of them. No luck, nothing at all. You won't believe it. I made this shirt with two head holds for two different personalities because I flip flop all over the show with my feelings all the time. And then these scully shoes. One was more dirty than the other. I must have stood in the gutter. I don't know how I got that right. And then I found this little thing. Is it a hat or is it a bag? Nope. I got it from the little boy down the road. I added some strings and I made it into a bag. And then the only good thing here: a pair of cool, cool sunglasses. And off I go like an LGBTQ plus two-headed monster. Bye. Didn't think you'd ever stoop so. All right. Um, do you believe that twinks deserve rights? Ooh, when I'm with them, no. Twinks don't deserve rights. One, do twinks deserve rights? Um. Oh my God. Are we are we this or are we this? Anyone anyone this? And who do we think's better, Kim Petras or Troye Sivan? Troye Sivan. Troye Sivan. Kim Petras or Troye Sivan? Troye Sivan. Troye Sivan is winning this. Thank you guys so much. You guys what? <gasps> two guys holding hands. All right. Troye Sivan or Kim Petras? Troye Sivan. Troye Sivan. Troye Sivan wins again. <laughs> like, how much do you think you should have to pay for a wet pussy shot? I don't know what that is. <laughs> you get in here. How much should you pay for a wet pussy shot? Okay, so it depends, but I think a fair amount is under eight dollars. On a scale of one to ten, how hot am I? I'd give you a nine point five. I will accept a nine point five. Also, that guy with the with the piercings just then. Hi, my Instagram is at Betty underscore Rose. Hit me up any time. <laughs> this is incredible. This is amazing. You're incredible. I yeah, I want multiple. Of course, I want multiple. You're incredible. Thank you. <laughs>、uh, <laughs> what have you done? Oh, what have you done? Storm Kathleen destroyed our home. But she's an ally. <laughs> We ditched you. I don't remember this at all. Yeah, I skated away and called you a big baby. Something threw a rock at me, and you yelled, "You're so gay!" Oh! I did do that. Oh, didn't I? We used to use that word a lot. We used to be able to call anything gay. Oh, did you ever miss that? No. No. <laughs> It's hurtful.、Mm. A lot. We used to be able to call anything gay. Oh. You used to be able to call. No, no. <laughs> It's hurtful. I think I like this little life. This little life. I think I like. 'Cause I was all the love and I had a shut up, shut up. I only want to see gay couples. I don't care about. Women. Sorry, that sounds really bad. I do care about women. I love women. I just don't care when I see a really cute guy and it flips, and then there's a girl there, and I'm like, ah, I thought he was gay. Is this sexist? Come with me on a date with my beloved boyfriend. Love him so much. So today we decided to go for a black and white look. This is my outfit for today. And this is my boyfriend's outfit. Look at him! Oh my god, he's just the cutest. I just love him so much. We decided to match for today so that people know that we're a couple. 
to get drinks first and I decided to treat my boyfriend because he was nothing but a gentleman like look at him giving me tissues and all this princess treatment like, what more could I ever ask for honestly so we went shopping for a bit and my boyfriend has such good taste in clothes like I'm pretty sure he's working hard to achieve a body like this like guys imagine my boyfriend being built like this oh I can't wait I tried to hold his hand but then I forgot he hates physical touch so it's fine so then we went to this cafe to try their drinks but then my boyfriend suddenly had this very long call with his friend he was giggling so much it just warms my heart but then he told me he had to go as he had to meet his friend at the parking lot for 20 minutes it kind of sucks to behave because I really wanted to spend more time with him but duty call he just never fails to help a friend in need in the middle of the parking lot for 20 minutes what could ever happen? only God knows Tom's quest for a boyfriend continues, and this time it takes him ice skating. Well, actually, my work friends took me ice skating. I just happened to turn it romantic. So I get there, and we're just doing laps of the rink together. And I saw this cute boy um, by himself, kind of with other friends every now and then, but skating around. I wasn't sure how to say hi, but he was flailing his arms around a little bit. So I made a comment as I went past, asking if he was balancing or dancing. He had a good little chuckle, and then we did a few laps together, just chatting. Unfortunately, he gave me nothing more than just kind friendship vibes, so I let him skate off with his friends. But I actively made an effort to introduce myself to someone and I feel good about that.